The women warriors on the attack, the shot from distance, no threat to the Aruba goal. Aruba looking for a goal themselves tested the Trinidad and Tobago keeper from outside of the box. The Arubans though would get the breakthrough. The expertly taken free kick giving the Trinidad and Tobago keeper no chance. Chasing the game, the women warriors shooting left much to be desired. While their opponents let them off the hook in trying to double their lead. In the second half, Aruba were looking to double their lead and were close on this free kick. Speaking after the game, Trinidad and Tobago head coach Richard Hood was not pleased with his team's first half performance. Overall, I'd say I was uh, very disappointed, um, certainly in the result, um, and, and as well as the first half performance particularly. I thought that um, we were well below, beneath the, below the pace in the first half. Um, uh, we were not committed to attacking as we had planned to do. Um, we, moved, we deviated from the, the tactical plan offensively and defensively as well in the middle of the field. Coach Hood was pleased with his team's effort in the second half, adding the pressure is now on his team as they head into the final match with the title of tournament champions on the line. Um, unfortunately, we, we are placed in a situation where we have to get a result tomorrow in, in order to win the tournament and in addition to that is uh, we uh, have two players who will actually be suspended tomorrow for tomorrow's game um, and well, one of them has been a key player in the tournament that's uh, Katie Johnson she received the second yellow card tonight as well as Talia Martin so they will be both out tomorrow so we will have to make a shift in terms of players' positions and some alterations. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.